Hello everyone, today we have the System Sensor RP241580A. It's a 24 volt DC strobe that outputs to 15 candela. It's obviously ADA, it's got the big goofy strobe on the front, just like the uh, big goofy strobe on the mass. Well, I'll show you a few things. First of all, there's fire lettering on the sides. There's a 4x4 hole here where you can mount any horn. And here's the back. There's your terminals right there. And here's the label. Let's see if you could focus, Let's see if you could see that. I know, crappy lighting conditions, oh well. So, there's that. Now next to the retrofit plate is none other than my Wheelock 7001, the Firelight rebranded version. There's a whole different model number, STH-71. I can't think of the whole thing at the time being, but there you go. As you can see, this one is a little bit taller than this, this one. Uh, they both have strobes on the top. And I think this one mounts to a four not a 4x4, four four, but a big box with a 4x4 four four mounting on the inside. I still have yet to see one, so forgive me if I sound a little bit like a know-it-all. Oh well. <laughs> but anyways, this could probably take the place of this if needed. To the left is the Simplex 2903. It's the rear mount version. The horn goes behind the grills here. As you can see, it's a little bit taller than this, and it's actually a little bit narrower than this one. So I guess it's roughly the same size, uh, just by looking at it. I haven't taken an official measurement yet, but they're about the same size, as you can see. One of the things it could replace. The only thing is, if you, if you wanted to put this on the... Uh, 2975 9145 you would have to get some kind of adapter plate because this, this is the only way it mounts these two screws up here so there's a there's one of these plates that has the two screws but it also has the 4x4 option so you could just place this on top of there and there you go you got your retrofit that's what, how I think it goes. Again, forgive me if I'm sounding like a know-it-all today. <laughs> but, oh well. Now, just to show you guys the action of the strobe, I'm going to power it up first. So, without further ado, here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. That's right, folks. Retrofit strobe action. And that lights off part was just to show you how the strobe would be, how bright the strobe would be without any lights on. This is, again, these are just my stage lights if you want to say that. So, I think we're going to kill the power now. Now to demonstrate some retrofit capabilities, uh, horn mounting capabilities, I have the Mass 24 LOC on there. As you may recall, it's my ceiling mount mass if you want to say that now I do have this on there normally you would have a horn only but I don't have a horn only version of the mass at this time so this this will have to do I was able to get the strobe disconnected so at least that's one thing so without further ado here we go three two one
as you may have been able to see, it was just this strobe going off. It doesn't seem like just the mass has to go in there, or a typical mass speaker. Rather, it seems like there's a whole wide variety of horns or speakers that could go in there. A few of these are just examples of what can be done. So now we got a Simplex 2903-9833 on the plate. As I mentioned before, if you're replacing a 2903 or something, you could fit it on the uh, existing back box as long as you got something, some kind of adapter plate for it. I do believe Simplex sells them, like, you could put the plate on, and then you put the, the stuff on top of it. There's two versions, uh, one with this for a strobe and one for just a single device. I can't think of what off the top of my head, I'm sorry, so. Anyways, let's get on with the test. Three, two, one. That's pretty cool. As you can see here, we have a Simplex 2099-9756 next to the horn strobe combo. Well, let's just say the system is still maintained by Simplex. The 4251-20 that was below one of these setups, originally a 2903 setup, somehow broke down and they needed a replacement. They so happen to have this and they install it on the system. Doesn't seem likely they would install a dual action pull station, but why not? I'm using it for the setup here. So, without further ado, here we go. Three, two, one. All right. Now let's key it. There we go. Normally you would not find a setup like this. I might be over exaggerating a little bit, but for the video, I figured figured this was a fun little combo. For any ADA related setup retrofit you may find in a building, you might find this guy. It's a Simplex uh, 4903-9220. It's been a while since we've seen this. You would fit that on a retrofit plate which would fit on the back box. So I'll have to do some kind of comparison thing if you want to say that to explain. But anyways, this would fit on some kind of back plate that mounts on the box itself and the alarm goes on there. You might have seen them before in a few buildings. If you know what I'm talk talking about, that's great. So, I figured this would be a fun little setup, if you know what I mean. So, that's kind of why I over-exaggerated a little bit, if you want to say that. You might have thought it was fun too. So, without further ado, that will be it.